Hello. Hello, guys. Good Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, wait, wait. Come in. Okay, sorry. I don't know why my microphone disconnects. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Oh, now I can hear you. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Finally, okay, we came to the almost the end, the end of the class, right? How was the day? Good. Okay, good, good. So we have 21 people now. <clears throat> okay, so this was, you know, the, at the beginning that we have, we were talking about times, right? About the schedules. Remember the word? The schedule. Schedule. The okay, schedule. Sketch, this is like CH, como K, and G, the schedule, okay? What's your schedule like? And then uh, we were talking about what you do. Let me find the picture. Hi, in this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events. After reading and discussing three interviews about Skeleton. Okay, this one. Okay, so we have, for example, the schedule is my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take, uh, and take the bus to school, right? So this is a morning schedule. Okay, this is the morning schedule, okay? Uh, when we use this vocabulary or this uh, expressions, they they help us to organize, right, our ideas, okay, to organize our events. For example, I get up at uh, 4 a.m. I take a shower at 4.15. Then uh, I have breakfast at 5.30. I leave, I leave for work at 5.45, okay, I get to work at 6.30, and I start, okay, to work, or I start working at seven o'clock. So you see you have a sequence. <clears throat> Probably you don't include all the details, right? So there are more details that you can include, like for example, I get dressed, I choose my clothes, okay? And then you can use it in different forms. Okay, this is talking about schedules. Uh, for example, question, let's say, uh, Rafael, what time do you start working? <clears throat> I am start working at um, eight o'clock. Okay. Eight in the morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I start working at eight o'clock in the morning. Very good. Okay, you see, this is now we're talking about the schedule. Okay. And Maria del Carmen, what time do you have dinner? What time do you have dinner? Sure. 
she's she's frozen. Hello, Maria El Carpe. I think it's a problem with the with the internet, right? You say I have dinner at okay, uh, Joanna. What time do you have dinner? What time? Mm -hmm. A que hora cena? I have dinner. Six. 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 I am. PM. PM. Okay, look. I have. Uh, I had dinner. Uh huh. At. Six. PM. Very good. Very, very good. Excellent. Okay. Then this is a schedule, okay? This is an horario, right? I have dinner at 6 p.m. Okay, Marta Lilian, what time do you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Uh, I have breakfast at 6.30 a.m. Okay, very good. I have lunch at noon. All right. Um, I have dinner at uh, seven o'clock. Perfect. Okay. So you see, then this is you know the schedule for the eating. Okay, for the three meals of the day. Rafael told us the time the schedule when he starts working. Uh, Joanna told us the schedule when she has dinner. Okay. So this is you know talking Evening about. Teacher. Oh, hello, Jocelyn. Acaba de ingresar. Perdón, no puede ingresar. Okay, no problem. Okay, good. The good thing is that you Thank are here. You. Okay, welcome. Okay, so then we have the... Teacher. The, the, yes? Teacher, soy María del Carmen. Tengo problemas de conexión. No le sí. puedo contestar la, la respuesta. Sí, aquí le dije yo que era frozen, pero no la, no la de los muñequitos. Que en la película, no, que se había quedado congelada. Okay. Sí, sí. sí, pero si estoy escuchando. No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Se nota cuando es problema. Y se nota cuando me ignoran también. O sea, todo un mes me han estado ignorando de 16 clases. It's not. Okay. <laughs> no, son bromas. Okay. I know. Okay, no. <laughs> Mayra, no, Mayra, no, you, you, you haven't. Gracias. Okay. Good. Okay, excellent. Then, um, for example, what is another question that we can ask? What time? What time do you, uh, for example, what time do you finish work? Okay, Tatiana, what time do you finish your uh, classes at the university? I I finish classes at one p.m. At one p.m. Okay. Excellent. Good. Mayra, what time do you cook? Do you cook? What time do you cook? I I am um, I cook uh -huh. in the morning at uh, the seven AM. Perfect. Is the I the, the breakfast. The breakfast. Breakfast. The breakfast. The break. And uh, 12 o'clock mm -hmm. is the lunch. Okay. And seven, seven and four is dinner. 7 15. Ah, 7 16. 7 15 is I the. Cook, I cook dinner. Okay. So these are the three I cook moments dinner. that you cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, excellent. So you see okay. that for okay. everything that we do, we have a schedule in life, right? Uh, for example, uh, Gabriela. Okay. Gabriela, what time do you go to sleep? What time do you go to sleep every day? Hola. Ay, okay. Me yes. está preguntando. Yes, Gabriela. What time? Sí. Uh -huh. 
do you go to bed? Um, ¿Cómo sería de que, digamos, me quedo ya estudiando toda, durante toda la noche? O sea, no tengo una hora aquí. Ok. Then I don't have a specific time. Okay. I don't have a specific time. Ok, very good. Ok, mm -hmm. for that one, ok, it, también es válido porque se habla de schedule, but you don't have a schedule. Sí. Ok, pero hay que hacérselo, ok, hay que hacerse un hábito, hay que descansar. Okay. Yes, I don't have a specific time. No problem, okay? It's a good answer. Okay, hay, pala hay preguntas que a veces se salen del estándar de las respuestas, pero es la realidad, okay? Eh, y eso me gusta porque es, eso quiere decir que hay comprensión y comunicación, okay? Porque si ella hubiera querido, me hubiera dicho, ah, me acuesto a las 10. I have, I go to bed at 10 p.m. Pero... Me ha dicho su realidad. Y eso aquí ya aprendemos todo, que también se puede contestar. I don't have a specific time. Yes. Okay, for example, what time do you take a shower, Gloria? Gloria Valeria. Oh. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. What time do you have a shower? Or do you take a shower? I take a shower at 8 a.m. o'clock. 8 a.m., okay. Every day? Yes, every day. Okay, good. Perfect. So that's 8 o'clock. And you, Rodrigo, what time do you take a shower? Rodrigo, Antonio, yes. In the morning. Okay, then you say... In the morning. In, okay, in the morning. What time in the morning? At uh, six o'clock. Okay, very good. All right, so then you can say, then uh, also you can say, well, I take a shower at 5 a.m. and <clears throat> I also take a shower at 4 p.m. <clears throat> okay, sorry. So then you can, uh, some people sometimes take two showers, right? Well, in my case, sometimes I have to take two showers because I I walk, I go for a walk, I go running or jogging, and then I take a second shower, right? Because it's hot too. Okay, good. No questions about the schedules? Okay, ya vi que se recuerdan, and that's good. Now, remember the other topic we had in this, Unit was the, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. <clears throat> the irregular verbs are, uh, they call it here, they uh, have, has, do, does, go, and goes. Uh, le llaman irregulares porque cambian completamente, right? Remember that in present, what is the, When you say, for example, uh, play. Play is for I, we, you, they. Remember that? And for he, she, it? Place. Place. Very good, Rafael. That's nice. Place. Okay. Uh, when you have, for example, uh, a walk. Walk. Walks. Okay. Good. Uh, when you have, for example, pray. 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 ¿Qué significa pray? Como plegaria. Exacto. Plegaria o. Plegaria. Orar. ¿verdad? Rezar. Orar. Ah. Okay. Tal vez algunos no lo sabían, pero lo usaron correctamente. Cuando ya se, regla, se recuerda uno de las reglas, puede hacer que no lo conozca, pero lo usa correctamente. Right? Yes. Praise es eh, rezar y plegaria es 
prayer. Ok. Entonces, estos dos primeros son sustantivos, perdón, verbos, y este es el sustantivo. Ok. Morning prayer. Siempre hay que hacer una morning prayer, una oración en la mañana, la oración de la mañana, right? Teacher, pero yeah. cuando le agregamos la S, uh -huh. entonces quiere, estamos hablando entonces en plural. No, estamos hablando de he, he, he and it. She, ajá, uh -huh, and it. Entonces cuando nos referimos a tercera persona, la tercera persona siempre, la primera soy yo. La segunda es you, usted. La tercera es he, she, it, él, ella o ello, un objeto. Y ahí vienen los plurales. Ahí vienen las la primeras la primera personas plurales, we. ¿Por qué we? Porque es donde yo estoy incluido, donde decimos nosotros. La segunda persona plural es you, que son ustedes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y la, okay. que, en, que en español sería como vosotros. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y la tercera es cuando están en Estados day. Unidos, they. Ahí en they okay. usted incluye a él, a ella, y puede estar un perrito que sea la mascota. Entonces puede ser hey, they. Okay. Okay. O puede haber tres chicas y decir usted they. O que va a ser she, she, she. Y pueden ser tres chicos, y decir he, 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 puede decir they. Entonces los, plural, okay. los plurales son we, you, and they. You, they. Ajá. Y you. los singulares, I, I you, you también. You. Ok, entonces cuando usamos la S es phrase. Estamos usando singular he, she, it. Then, y para todos los plurales, play, walk, pray, excepto el, el ¿cómo es que se llama? El singular de I y you. Eh, entonces, when you have have, por eso le llaman irregulares. Les voy a decir una cosa, que los, en inglés no hay una, una real academia del inglés, como en español. Okay? En español tenemos una real academia de la Real Academia Española, que es la que dicta todas las reglas de ortografía, gramática, conjugación de verbos y todo eso. Entonces, es la única que lo rige. Si la Real Academia dice, vamos a cambiar la silla por sillo, eh, vamos a empezar a decirle a la silla, sí, porque ya lo cambió y ellos van a explicar por qué. En inglés son entidades que son las como universidades o diccionarios. Por ejemplo, ya han visto el diccionario de Oxford, eh, Cambridge, o el de, en Estados Unidos está el Webster, el Longman. Entonces, estos diccionarios a veces tienen terminología, el inglés es el mismo. Pero, por ejemplo, a veces ellos dicen, estos verbos los llaman irregulares en español. En, perdón, en, en presente. Pero en otros diccionarios lo van a, lo van a encontrar como unos verbos eh, comunes, ¿ok? Con cualquier otro. Aquí le llaman irregulares porque si ven acá, solo agregamos la S. Pero acá cambia. Has. De la D cambia y cambia la S. The other one says goes que le agregan ES. Ok. Gobierno de Salvador. And the one is do. And does. Entonces, por eso le llaman irregulares. Ok. Then, that's the difference between have, has. Entonces, tenemos que has sería para. ¿Qué, su, qué pronombres? He, she, and it. Y, tercera y, persona. Tercera persona. That's correct. En goes para he, she, it. En does para he, she, it. Excellent. Congratulations. Okay, like you said. Then. Ok, entonces eran los verbos irregulares en present. Then we have the present questions additionally. Ok, so when you have, for example, do you, does he, and here's when you use the auxiliary verbs. Do you get up? 
does he have lunch? Okay. And that is the use. Si tiene alguna duda, me pregunta. Okay, but this, this was. And the one was about reading. Okay, that was the number one. Okay, now then we had a section two to the questions in third person. Then we have the yes, no questions. For example, do you live in an apartment? Where is it? Do you live in an apartment? Okay, this one, this is the yes, no question. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Eh, <laughs> ¿Cómo responderían ustedes a una pregunta de esas así naturalmente? Let's see. Marco. Do you live do you live in San Salvador? No, no I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Si respond si responden, I don't. No, I don't. Aha, uh -huh, no, I don't. If you say no, I don't. Y el complemento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No, I don't. I live Ex in, in the Zacatecoluca. Okay, who said that? Can you uh, Marlene, yes? Yes. Repeat uh -huh. it, please. Repeat it. No, I don't. I live in, in um, Zacatecoluca. In Zacatecoluca, okay. Esa es la respuesta que yo esperaba. Okay, ¿por qué? Eh, yes, I do. Uh -huh. I live in Mexicanos. Uh-huh, yes, I do. I live in Mexicano. Okay. Because uh, remember that si usted no responde, si usted le dice, okay, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Entonces me está, está pues, dejando que yo le haga otra pregunta y otra pregunta. Y where do you live in San Salvador? Ah, uh, I live uh, eh, in Mexicano. Ah, okay. And where in Mexicano? Ah, in uh, Colonia Jardín, okay? And then I can ask you many questions. But like Marlene says, okay, do you live in San Salvador? No, I don't, I don't. I live in Zacatecoluca, okay? Or I live in a uh, eh, barrio, I don't know, Barrio La Vega, maybe, in Zacatecoluca, okay? To be more specific. Eh, you practice more English, okay? And then you give more information. And uh, I think there is more communication, okay? Uh, also depends. No, no es una regla que hay que dar toda la información. Okay? Depende si me pregunte uno. Okay. No a cualquiera se le va a dar toda la información. Oh, right? That's, you have to be, be careful, right? Good. Exactly, right? So then this is very important to remember, right? A yes, no question, se responde yes, no. Pero puede hacer una respuesta más larga y más específica. Okay, no es la regla que solo se va a decir yes, I do, no, I do. Okay. And then, what else we have? A uh, uh, furniture. How this was the vocabulary for the objects in the house. Okay, just uh, remember we had armchairs, porque tienen los bracitos, right? These are the armchairs. Uh, then you have the sofa. En algunos casos le van a llamar couch. Okay, como un, también un sillón, like couch. Uh, then we have the stove. Remember the machine, table. This is for the pronunciation, stove. Stove, curtain, 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 curtain. Pictures, clock, uh, bed, desk. Television, rah, y la U es como una rah, sofa, refrigerator, lamp, clock, mirror, chair, a dresser, 
the bookcase, the coffee table, the table, and that's it. Alguna pronunciación? You can repeat it. Oh, microwave oven. Okay, the microwave oven. No problem? Teacher. Yep. Teacher. Yes, Mayra. Este, esto, esto, la vez pasada eh, mencionaba que era la cocina con estufa. Y ah, es el, una es la, es la es máquina el... en sí. ¿Perdón? Es la máquina en sí, digamos, la cocina, cocina, el aparato, that's the stove. Ah, ya. Okay. O sea, independientemente, y solo son los quemadores, es lo mismo. ¿Cómo? Como hay cocinas que solo son quemadores. Sin, no, sin, sin, horno. Ah, sin, sin el horno. ¿Qué se ajá. refiere a la cocina, sí, quizás? Sí, sí. No, yes, ajá, this is the stove. Yes, the stove is the, la cocina en sí, en que dan los, los burners. Ajá, los burners son los quemadores, este de aquí, burners. Ok, yes, no problem. Es el stove. Okay. Eh, es la máquina en sí. Y la kitchen, the kitchen es el cuarto, right? The room where you put the stove. Now this is the oven. Y, y lo que le dicen estufa. Estufa. Eh, aquí, yes, bueno, es esta misma. Lo mismo. Yes, estufa, yes. Stove. Mm -hmm. Lo que pasa es que nosotros no ocupamos estufa, creo. Nosotros usamos cocina eh, para ambos, right? para, para tanto para la habitación o el cuarto como para el eh, object, right? Ok. Then, let's see. Okay. Now. Then we have the, there is and there are. Okay, remember there is and there are. That was, there is for singular and there are for plural. There is no negative or there isn't a. Remember, there is is for singular and non count noun. Okay, para todo lo que es singular y cosas que no se pueden contar. Okay, there is, for example, coffee in my cup. Okay, there is coffee in my cup. Then there is uh, there is a watch in my wrist. Ok, el coffee no se puede contar, there is some coffee. Ok, then there is a watch, the watch, yes, because you can say one watch, two watch, three watch. Uh, we can also say there is, there is one pen in my hand. Plural, there are two pens in my hand. Okay, there are three pens in my hand. And you can also say there are some. Okay, there are some pens, some pens in my hand. Okay, and then I have to say unos plural things, right? There are some. And there is only one. There is a pen, there are some, or there are four pens in my hand. Okay, there is some coffee in my cup. Okay, well, you cannot count. Questions about the reason there are? No? Okay. And then we also have this one. This is to, well, this is for the reading, reading details. And the last one, the last one is the number three. The third topic before the midterm exam. It was, uh, 
the common job, right? For example, we have jobs in vocabulary, we have doctors, singers, nurse. So I guess this is something common. And the WH question. Okay, the w, WH question. For example, it says when a, you will learn to sound natural when asking WH questions. And we have where do you, where do you, where does she, where does, what does she. Hi, everyone. In this class, you're going to or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV, even in this class. And practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? Okay, this is important, right? Because um, puede sonar aquí. Para qué lo voy a pronunciar así? Aunque no lo pronuncie usted así, aunque usted diga, where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? Okay, you can do it, no problem. Eso es estilo de hablar y se respeta, right? But sí hay que aprender a escuchar cómo ellos lo dicen. Where does he work? Okay. Where do you work? Okay, where do where, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Sounds like a little D. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh -huh. Where do you work? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, my name. Me hacen burla porque dicen, dicen que mucho enrollo la lengua cuando hablo inglés. <laughs> pues, pues, dígale si, que si hay otra forma que se la digan, pero es la única. <laughs> Igual lo que yo conozco <laughs> es enrollándola porque sí, o sea, the where you work, no está muy. Ya, yeah, para mí ahora Listen to this. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? Okay, when you say where do you work, no es lo mismo que decir where do you work. Suena diferente o no? Where do you work? O oh, where do you work? Where do you work? Ah, where do you work? Where do you work? Es diferente. Se escucha más profesional. Suena más a, al, 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 digamos, más cercano al, al acento de ellos, Ajá, al acento del, del idioma. Okay. They say, what do you do? 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 Elsie, no lo lea, solo dígalo. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? No, no lo lea, no lo lea, solo dígalo. What do you do? What do you do? No. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? No, se vuelve a decir do. What do? What do? You do. You do. Uh -huh. What do you do? do? No. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you do? 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 No, what do you do? What do you do? No, what do you do? 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 <laughs> Había una canción allá por los 70 que decía, oh, oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Y, la que, y la gente decía, what oh, what oh, what a night. 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 Uh -huh. you remember that one? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Now listen to the next one. What do you do? Where does he work? Listen to the next one. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? 
Now listen where to this. Where, where, where does he work? Where does he? Where does he? Where does he? Where does he work? 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 In the next does he work? What does he do? 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 What does he what do you do? do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you do? Gracias. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's it. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Así es como a veces what escuchamos el inglés y por eso uno dice, es que no les entiendo. No, lo que pasa es que no hemos aprendido a decodificar la forma en que ellos pronuncian, que es de what do you do? Okay. Acuérdense que nosotros hacemos lo mismo en español. ¿no? Decimos, espérame, voy a ver. Ah, exactamente lo mismo. Entonces, es something that is really. Y así es en todos los idiomas, right? They, they use... Tenemos nuestras. Así es con la J, dice. Ajá, yeah. That's correct. <laughs> okay. ok, this one. Guajuruyuhu. Wow, wow, Vale, mira, ya que estamos en la primera sesión, she sells, esta es una actividad que vamos a hacer, she sells, el que me diga esto, se puede salir ya y pasa de ella. She Apaguen todos los micrófonos ahorita. Vamos a ver una cosa. Este es un, esto se llama Song Twister. Es un Tongue Twister. Es un trabalengua. Lengua. Exacto. Right? Un oh. Tongue Twister. Este es un Tongue Twister para pronunciar el sh, 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 y aprender con el sonido. En inglés, right? Entonces aquí dice, dice no, no chi, no, she, como que she sells, she, 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 she sells she, by the she, teacher. She, she, she sells, she sells by the teacher. She sells, she sells by the teacher. She sells, she sells by the teacher. She sells, she sells, she sells, she sells, she sells five <laughs> times. Que no debe ser cinco veces seguidito. Vamos a ver, Mayra. Mayra Vilorio, let's go. Pruebo, teach. Pruebe. She sells. Okay. She sells by the sure. Okay, again, quickly. But quickly. Rapidito. She sells by the sure. Yes. Right. She sells his shell by the sure. Wow. She sells, she, she sells, she sells by the t-shirt. Vaya, ve que se enrolla la lengua. She sells, she sells. Ya me confundí. That's okay. She sells, she sells, she sells by the t-shirt. She sells by the t-shirt. Okay, Rafael, try. Teacher, la última palabra, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Seashore. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, Melvin, Melvin, you raise your hand. Okay, Melvin. Okay. Okay. Primero Rafael, and then Melvin. Okay, Rafael. Okay. She sells. She she sell by the, the seashores. Very good. She okay. sells. She sells by the seashores. Okay. 
She sells, she sells by the scissors. By the scissors. She sells, she sells by the scissors. One more time. She sells, she sells by the scissors. By the scissors. Okay. She sells, she sells by the scissors. Okay. Good. How many things? She sells, she sells by the scissors. Okay. She sells, she sells by the scissor. 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 Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. She sells, she sells by the by the scissor. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, Marlene, Marlene. Your turn. By okay, this is she shall, she shall by the scissor. She shall, she shall by the scissor. She shall, she shall by the scissor. Okay. She shall, she shall. Good. Also, uh, by the scissor. Just, okay, good. Just remember <laughs> this, okay? She sells. Okay, she sells. She sells. She sells. By the scissor. She sells. By the scissor. Okay. She shares, she shares, I get two three two three two red top okay okay este está más largo eh, este es la mitad de este <laughs> bueno vamos a ver aquí es más largo is it? Tell me to the camels to the tight to tight to talk straight to the top of the track to take them to the supermarket and stop at the gas station to make a task they charge him. That's a complete. Teacher and Camalena. Okay. Tommy Tita Tams took to tie to tie to talk straight to the top of the track. Okay. Tommy Tita Tams. It's difficult. Tommy T. No digo. Ah, ok, Elsa. Elsa. Tommy Tita Towns took to tie to tie to tall trees to the top of the truck. Of the truck. Ok, very good. Yes, excellent. Tommy Tita Towns took to tie to tie. Ok. Tommy Tita Towns es el nombre, right? Tommy Tita Towns tomó, tomó dos cuerdas. Ok, tomó dos cuerdas para amarrar dos árboles altos. Ok, dos árboles altos arriba del camión. Tommy, si tratamos to tie to tie two tall trees to the top of the truck. Good, Gloria. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Ok. Anybody else? ¿Quién más anima? Tommy, to tie to Two, 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 three, 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 two, three, three, two, three, two, top of the truck. Two, three, two, three, 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 two, three, three, two, three, top. two, three, top of the truck. Track. Top. Track. Okay, Joanna, good, good, good. That's fine, okay. Mm -hmm. eh, con estas, eh, lo que se logra con esto es la, la articulación cuando hablamos inglés, que se, es lo que se aprende a uno a pronunciar la T, que la, no es la T, como decimos tomate, este es Tommy, Tommy Tita Camus Tuk, Tuk, no es una de Tuk, ok, como nosotros lo decimos en español, por eso es Tommy Tita Camus Tuk, 
two, tie two, tie two, fold two, two, the top of the track. A some piece of cam to tie two. A track teacher. Camion. A camion. Track. 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 Track is in camion. Va. Ok. Ahora le voy a poner una adivinanza. <laughs> What is sometimes sometimes? What is something that has wheels and flies? Airplane. Pareciera, pero no. Helicopter. Mars. No. Mars. No. Helicopter. No. Cometa. No. Comet. No. Tiene ruedas y vuela, dice. Ajá, ahí está el truco. Ok, este es un truco. ¿Qué es fly? Volar. ¿Y qué más? Como verbo. Como volar. Como fly, verbo, pero. Como volar. Eh, perdón, como verbo es volar. Volar. ¿Qué otro significado tiene fly? Google it, Google it. Oscar. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, ¿qué es? El camión Oscar. de la basura. <laughs> the garbage okay. truck. Ok, cabal. Exactamente, el camión de la basura. Entonces, este es un juego de palabras en inglés. Fly. Lo primero que se ve acá es decir... What is something that has wheels and flies? Ah, tiene ruedas y vuelas, un avión. Right? Pero no, aquí dice que tiene ruedas y moto. El camión de la basura, lo van a ver. Rodando en with a lot of flies. Ok, oh, before. Si no se nos está yendo el tiempo, déjenme tomarles un picture. Vamos a ver la asistencia porque me dijeron que hoy es. They need your attendance for today. What does he do? Where do they work? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Es la última foto. Esta es la de la grabación. Okay, good. This is the promo. The promo picture. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we need one more. For the second screen. I think we're gonna need two pictures today. Okay, one. Okay, and this one more just for to make sure that everybody is included. Okay, thank you very much, that's it. it... Okay, questions. Alguna duda o pregunta de algún tema o algo que quisieran Ahora ustedes compartir, saber. Yesterday we, we had the last one, you know, with the word the well and good, the past tense, the past tense of the verb. Eh, vamos a ver, ¿qué, sabemos de lo, ¿qué saben de los verbos en pasado? Lo que sepan, así las cosas que se acuerden. They are very difficult. They are very difficult. Yes. No, but it's easier, Tatiana. It's easier. Mm. Eh, les dije, okay. 
for example, in, in, in present, the verbs have two forms. Okay, what are the two forms? Walk and walk, pray and pray, play and play. Okay, two forms. In Spanish, six. Okay, six forms. Simple present and present continuous. Okay. Uh -huh. What happened with the simple present and present continuous, Rafael? For example, uh, play mm -hmm. uh, and present continuous uh, playing. Playing, okay. And then, and when we have the simple past? Uh, I know uh, plus ED. ED, correct, okay. You say played, okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. in past tense, Van a ver los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares, right? Eh, los regulares son los de ED, right? They have ED. So those are regular verbs. Y los irregular verbs, que nos mandó una lista ahí bien bondadosa, Tatiana, con el, I don't know how many verbs, right? Ahí va a encontrar otro y el significado. Esa lista está muy, muy buena para irla, no memorizando, pero sí revisando verbos. Si ustedes cogen por lo menos unos tres, cuatro verbos de esa lista por día, en un mes han incrementado su vocabulario con 120 palabras más. Ok, eh, la, digamos, la base, la base del, de cualquier idioma es, es el vocabulario. Ok, la, el vocabulario y la gramática. Ok, ¿qué es lo primero que un niño aprende? Cuando Hablar. Habla. Cuando vocabulario. Palabra. Vocabulario. Hablar. Hablar. Ajá. Y escuchar, ¿verdad? Va escuchando, escuchando, escuchando y luego palabritas que produce. ¿Ok? Y luego viene la estructura. Cuando ya uno le enseña a decir las palabras bien. ¿Ok? Y las oraciones completas. ¿Ok? Entonces va, va en ese proceso. ¿Ok? Por eso es que el vocabulario es clave. ¿Por qué? Como les digo, más adelante van a encontrar que ah, pueden estructurarlo, pero una frase, una palabra, los va a detener y, va a, y van a sentir que no pueden decir algo por esa razón, ¿ok? Es a matter of vocabulary. Y los verbos son esenciales. Los verbos son esenciales. Como el vocabulario que van viendo, por ejemplo, el de los furniture, de los empleos, de job, de food. Fíjense cómo ha estado todo este de nivel que tenían food, y que no about food, You can talk about job, then you can talk about furniture in the house, describe a house, okay? All this vocabulary is actions, talent, sports, okay? Todos son temas diferentes con una cantidad de vocabulario que no son menos de 100 palabras, okay? Y ustedes van sumando todo eso, practicarlo todos los días para que no se les olvide, right? Right, use it, reproduce it, Write it, eh, graben una un voice note en su teléfono, se lo envían ustedes mismos, ¿ok? O lo hacen viral, lo suben en internet. No, eh, lo pueden escuchar ustedes varias veces, ¿right? Y, y ahí se van ustedes modulando, ¿ok? Esta es una práctica que sirve mucho, porque uno es bien crítico, ¿right? Y then, uh, entonces cuando uno se escucha a uno mismo aún más, entonces eso ayuda. Right, you listen to yourself and no, I don't like it. And then you practice again. And then this is one way to, to do it, right? And you can do it with the, uh, also with the help of the platform, with the videos, the presentation. Okay, that is excellent. <coughs> All right, uh, what else? Then the verbs in past tense. Uh, van a ver que es más fácil porque solo necesitan un verbo en pasado. Y no necesitan tener a que tercera persona, que cuarta que tal. Dice, I, I played, yo jugué, you played, played, she played, it played, they played, and we played. El mismo played con el ED, como decía Rafael, es el que vamos a usar para todos los sujetos. 
todos los eh, su, eh, pronombres. I, you, he, she, we, you, they, play. Hay verbos irregulares. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go, Tatiana? Sorry. What, what's the past tense of go? Go. Uh -huh, go. Went. 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 Uh, went. Okay, went. Entonces, ese I went to the movies, you went mm -hmm. to the movies, he went to the movies, he went to the movies, uh, it went to the movies, we went, they went, you see, all, everything is went. Ahí la diferencia la hacen que unos son regulares con la ED, porque tienen reglas para escribirse, y los irregulares que no tienen reglas, right? Went. So, van a encontrar dos formas de verbo. Y la otra es el do. El do que tenemos en las preguntas en presente. Do you like, do you like candies? Yeah. Do you like yeah. movies? Uh -huh. Do you like movies? En, en pasado vamos a usar did you like. ¿Quién vio una película anoche? <coughs> ¿Quién vio una película anoche? Nobody? ¿Quién yeah. estudió inglés anoche? Todo, pero ahí sí. Bien disciplinado. Ok, por ejemplo, question. Eh, Rodrigo, Antonio, did you, did you study English last night? Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Ok, tienen que aquí a net, yes, I do. No, que okay, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces, por eh, ejemplo, um, let's see, Gabriela. Sí. Did you, did you drink coffee today? Yes, I do. Yes, ah, I did. Yes, I do. I did. Sí. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Did you drink? Ahora, yes. otro detalle es que cuando usan la pregunta, did you, el verbo lo van a usar en presente. Did you drink? El pasado de drink es drink. Pero cuando ya vean eso, van a ver que en las oraciones afirmativas, se usa el verbo en pasado. I drank coffee today. En las negativas, Usan el didn't. I didn't drink. Entonces, y en las questions van a usar did you drink. O sea que el verbo en pasado solo se utiliza en la oración afirmativa. Ok. Eh, para la pregunta y la, neg y la negativa, okay. usan drink. Ok. No problem. No, 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 no. Okay. ok, then eh, A menos que se quieran quedar una hora más Pero si se quedan una hora más si, si, si Ustedes invitan las pupusas Para que tenemos aquí todos juntos <risa> <risa> Pupusas virtuales Ok, virtual Ok, eh, then that's all People Gracias por soportarme. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank nice you, to teacher. meet you. Thank, Thank you, so much. Thank you teacher. teacher. Okay, bye bye. Thank Have you. Nice. nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Bye.